Welcome to this presentation. Today we look at KCC Paper 1, 2018, question number 11, 12, 13, and 14. So write to question number 11. Without using mathematical tables or a calculator, evaluate sine 30 minus sine 60 over tan 60. So in this question, we need to identify that 30, 60 are special angles and therefore we're going to consider an equilateral triangle so we have the dimensions as 2 2 and the base is also 2 but we'll drop a line that perpendicularly bisects the base that is from this point here so that we have here 1, 1 and this is 90 and at that particular point we have root 3 by Pythagoras theorem. So because this is an equilateral triangle these sides are 60 rather these angles and this line here bisects 60 here so that we have 30 and 30. So from this triangle we'll be able to get sin 30 sine 60 and tan 60. So applying Sokatoa we'll say sine 30 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So when you are at 30 the opposite side is 1 hypotenuse is 2. So that is 1 over 2. And then for sine 60, we come at 60 and then you say again opposite over hypotenuse. So sine 60 is opposite which is root 3 over hypotenuse 2. And then finally tan 60 is, so at 60 we we'll say tan is opposite over adjacent. So that is root 3 over adjacent which is 1. So root 3 over 1 which is just root 3. So, substituting these values in the problem, we will have instead of sine 30, we will have a half minus sine 60 is root 3 over 2, all over tan 60, that is root 3. So, when we have to deal with fractions that are at least max life a little difficult so the first step is to eliminate the fractions on the numerator and denominator if at all we have on the denominator also so that means we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the lcm here which is 2 so that our new fraction becomes 1 minus root 3 all over 2 root 3 Next, we are going to simplify this by rationalizing the denominator. So, in order to make the denominator rational, we multiply 2 root 3 by root 3. So that will ensure that the sad disappears on the denominator. And then we multiply the numerator by the same factor. So that the next thing we'll have is root 3 minus root 3 by root 3, that is 3 all divided by root 3 by root 3 that is 3 3 times 2 6 and finally we will have a sixth of root 3 minus half and that is it for number 11 for number 12 use matrix method to solve 5x plus 3y is 35 3x minus 4y is negative 8. So we will have to express this system of equations in matrix form. So we have 5, 3, 3, negative 4. So this is the coefficients matrix where the elements are the coefficients of x and y in that order. And then we multiply by x, y. That should give us 35 negative 8 
So at this step, in order to solve, we begin by finding the inverse of this matrix here, the coefficients matrix. So first we get the determinant, and the determinant is negative 20, that is 5 by negative 4, minus 3 by 3, that is 9, and that gives us negative 29. Therefore, the inverse is obtained by simply having 1 over the determinant by, uh, so for this diagonal, we have 5 and negative 4 interchanging, so we have negative 4 and here 5. And then in this diagonal, we negate the elements, so that finally, this should give us 4 over 29, 3 over 29, then here also 3 over 29, and finally negative 5 over 29. Now once we've had the inverse of the matrix, the next thing is to pre-multiply both sides of this equation here by the inverse. So we will simply have 4 over 29, 3 over 29, 3 over 29, negative 5 over 29, multiplied by the left hand side, 5, 3, 3, negative 4, x, y, and the same should also apply on the right hand side, 4 over 29, 3 over 29, 3 over 29, negative 5 over 29, multiplying 35, negative 8. So on the left hand side, if we multiply these two matrices, what we expect is an identity matrix that is 1, 0, 0, 1. So that the identity matrix multiplied by x, y is just x, y. So on the right hand side, we will have to multiply as follows. We multiply row by column. So we'll have 4 over 29 times 35 plus 3 over 29 times negative 8. So that should give us 4. And then 3 over 29 times 35 plus negative 5 over 29 times negative 8. When we add, that should give us 5. So from here, we can therefore conclude that x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5. Next question, next to question number 13, expand and simplify this. So for the first part, I'm going to apply the quadratic identity which states a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So a is 2x and b is 1. So we're simply going to have for the first part 4x squared plus, so 2ab that is 2 times 2x times 1, so that is 4x plus b squared, that is 1, 1 squared which is 1, plus x into the second bracket, x minus 3, minus 1 into the second bracket, x minus 3, so this should be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 plus x squared minus 3x minus x plus 3. So that we have 4x squared plus x squared, that is 5x squared. Then 4x minus 3x minus x, that is 0. And then 1 plus 3, that is 4, so plus 4. And thus, we have expanded and simplified. Finally, for question number 14, use mathematical tables to find the reciprocal of 0 
hence evaluate so we are going to rewrite this as follows so we have whatever we have on the numerator that is cube root of 3.025 multiplied by 1 over 0 0.0247 now this can be rewritten as follows, so we have cube root of 3.025 into 0 0.0247 raised to power negative 1. So 1 over 0 0.247 simply means we get the reciprocal of 0 0.0247, which can also be expressed in this form. So this is just similar to having cube root of 3.025 into, so let's have this in standard form, 2.47 times 10 power negative 2 raised to power negative 1. So again we have cube root of 3.025 by 2.47 or negative 1. So we multiply the powers of what we have in the brackets by negative 1 times 10 power negative 2 by negative 1. So that is 10 power 2. So that finally we have cube root of 3.025 times reciprocal of 2.47 we have 0 0.4049 times 10 squared, which is 100. So that is cube root of 3.025 times 40.49. Remember, we were instructed to use mathematical tables to find the reciprocal of that. But on the numerator, we were not told to use any table. So we can read this directly from our calculators and multiply by 40.49 and when we do that we will get 58.558 and because we are told to leave our answer correct to two decimal places we round off so that is approximately 58.56. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you for your patience till this time. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.